Winter storms can cause several problems for the Wabash Valley, but where the storms are formed can help predict how much snow the area can get. Storm Team 10's Brady Harp has an inside look on how the storm team tracks winter weather. When determining how much snow a winter storm is going to dump on the Wabash Valley, you really got to pay attention to where the storm actually starts. Now, this is an Alberta clipper, and I know you're seeing a lot of things on the screen, but let's walk you through it. That orange color is warmer air, and that blue color is cooler air. Now, winter storms like to form around a low pressure. That's that yellow L you see, and all that means is uh, this low pressure is spinning air around. Now, you can see where the warmer air is, uh, the storm is dumping some rain, and where the cooler air is, is snow is falling. Now, Alberta clippers like to move through to the north and they don't really travel south. So that means for the Wabash Valley, when we do see an Alberta clipper, mostly it's just going to provide rain. And once that cooler air moves through, the rain's going to move out and we're just left with cooler conditions. It really doesn't dump a lot of snow at all just because of how north it travels. Now, a Colorado low is a different type of winter storm. You can see the winter storm over here. And remember, this is all about where the storm starts. Now you can see a Colorado low is forming right over Colorado and it's going to swing just a little bit further south. And because it does so, uh, the Wabash Valley really starts to get divided in half here. The storm moves through. We're going to zoom in on the Wabash Valley. You can see a wintry mix sleet kind of forming right between the line of cooler air and warmer air. So the southern half of the Wabash Valley might see some rain, while the northern half of the Wabash Valley might experience some snow. And because this storm starts in Colorado and moves almost right over the Wabash Valley, that's why it seems like a lot of the time I-70 divides uh, the Wabash Valley between snow and rain. Now, the third type of storm, the lows is going to move out, cooler air takes over. The third type of storm, Panhandle Hook, now this usually travels right toward the Great Lakes. It forms in the Texas Panhandle, and that's why it has the name Panhandle Hook. But every once in a while, you're going to see this storm take a wider turn and almost head right for Kentucky. And when this storm does that, this is the storm that's going to provide the most amount of snow for the Wabash Valley, just because of how far south that warmer air is and how much cooler air is impacting the Wabash Valley. You can see we're going to see a lot of snow anytime we get a panhandle hook. Now those are just three of the types of winter storm. Now if you can pay attention to where these storms start, you can get a pretty good idea of how much snow is going to fall on the Wabash Valley.